tulimme rantaan ja astuimme veneeseen, kun vaimoni huomasi taivaalla valon ja sanoi, että sieltä tulee lentokoneja. Vilkasin sen taivaalle ja samassa näin lähestyvän siellä valopallo, joka silmissä suureni ja pysähtyi noin 30 metrin korkeuteen venemme yläpuolelle ja oli läpimitaltaan noin neljä metriä. Minä kysyin Karlelta, onko se helikopteri? Sanoin, että ei se missään tapauksessa voi mikään helikopteri olla, sillä se tuli siihen täysin äänettömästi meidän yläpuolelle. The topic of UFO sightings and the UFO religion is a fascinating one, and Finland has a particularly interesting history in this regard. Over the years there have been numerous reports of UFO sightings in Finland, and some of these sightings have even led to the formation of a UFO religion. Finland has a long history of UFO sightings, with reports dating back to the 1920s. One of the most famous sightings occurred in 1969, when multiple witnesses reported seeing a strange, glowing object in the sky. During a jet training mission at Pori Airport on April 12th, 1969, a Finnish Defence Forces flight controller told pilot in training Tarmo Tukova to investigate seven air balloons that were floating at approximately 1,500 to 3,000 metres above the airport. Tukova reported that the objects were ball or disc shaped, but could not determine his distance to them. According to Tukova, the objects accelerated away from him at great speed. Undetermined radar images were also later reported 200 kilometers away in Vasa. A second pilot in training, Joko Kuronen, says he overheard the radio communications between the flight controller and Tukova as well as observing the objects. According to the Finnish Armed Forces magazine, Ruttovaki, the April 12th reports were similar to other cases occurring over bodies of water during ongoing military exercises, and may have been due to transnational spy planes or aircraft. Another famous incident of UFO sightings happened on January 7th, 1970 when Arno Heinonen and Esko Viljo were out skiing through a forest. They saw a bright light in the sky approaching them with a buzzing sound, a round 10 foot wide metallic object with a flat bottom, wrapped at first in a reddish grey mist, descended to within only 10 to 12 feet off the ground, but then the buzzing ceased. It was so close to Heinonen that he could have touched it with his ski pole. From an opening in the centre of the object's bottom, a bright light beam was then emitted, creating an illuminated area. A red-grey mist descended again. When it cleared, both men could see a three-foot-tall humanoid creature standing in the illuminated area, carrying in its hands a black box with a pulsating yellow light. The arms and legs were very thin, the face pale like wax, and the nose hooked. It wore a light green coverall with darker green knee boots, white gauntlets and a conical metallic helmet. Then the mist descended and long red, green and purple sparks floated out from the lighted area. A sort of flame rose from this spot and entered the UFO. Then the mist vanished, as did the UFO. After this experience, Heinonen found his right leg numb, vomited and passed black urine. Vilio also suffered severe psychological effects. The former would claim two years later a series of contacts with a female spacewoman. These UFO sightings led to the formation of a UFO religion in the 1970s called the Raelian Movement, which was founded in France. The Raelians believed that life on Earth was created by extraterrestrial beings and they claimed to have had contact with these beings themselves. The Raelian movement has been controversial in Finland, with some accusing the group of just being a cult. However, the group has defended its beliefs, and its members continue to promote their message of extraterrestrial contact and spiritual awakening. It was not long after the Finnish newspapers had started to write about flying saucers in America that Finnish people began to observe them. Indeed, the newspaper Vappa Sanna reported the first modern UFO sighting on the 14th of July, 1947. Two men claimed that they had seen a flying saucer above Helsinki. 
However, it was not until the 1950s that magazines began publishing articles about UFOs and discussions of UFO related subjects that became common in Finland. The first Finnish UFO club, a local group called Lentavat Lautaset Kerho, the Flying Saucer Club, was founded in 1960 in Porvo, led by economist Joel Renström. In 1962 the group placed advertisements in newspapers requesting reports of Finnish UFO sightings. Although the result was poor, the efforts of this club did constitute the initial steps of Finnish UFO research. Hence the club can be considered the first organised attempt to investigate Finnish UFO phenomena. In the 1960s, residents of a sparsely populated patch of northern Finland reported numerous UFO sightings. A local journalist investigated these strange events and put his findings into a scrapbook. Some decades later, his granddaughter, photographer Maria Lax, found this book and set about retracing his steps. She interviewed those who had seen these strange events and then came to create her own photo series. In this series, she interviewed several people that said colourful lights would follow cars or people walking home alone. The lights would be silent, pulsating in different colours before disappearing into the night sky. Sometimes bright lights would wake people up in their homes in the middle of the night and then again would just vanish without a trace. The first known UFO sightings in this area go as early as the 1920s. But because of fears that they would be labelled as crazy by others, people kept what they saw a secret and would only come forward with their experiences decades later. And more than likely, most never spoke of what they saw. There is a larger story running alongside these UFO sightings. Rapid industrialization in the 60s and 70s meant that people couldn't support their families by farming and were forced to move to cities in search of jobs. Some towns lost nearly half their populations. A whole lifestyle disappeared in a matter of a few years and those who lived through it remember it as a painful and uncertain time. <laughs> Viiden seitsemän metrin läpimittainen pallomainen aluminin värinen laite, joka räimäsi ylitsemme keskellä peltoa ja veljeni kanssa joudumme syöksymään ojaan, koska yhteen törmäyksen vaara näytti aivan varmalta. Olennot ilmestyivät meille kotiin keskellä yötä. Vierailuaika sinällään oli aika omituinen, kello oli juuri 12. Lyönyt ja väki tietysti jo vuoteissaan. Ja minä olin ainoa, joka olin hereillä. Oven auettua luulin, että jokin itämainen porukka, lähinnä niin kuin nuoria poikia, olisi tullut väärään osoitteeseen. Heti sisään tultuaan he totesivat, että vai olet jo hereillä, sinua me tulemmekin haastattelemaan. Heillä oli laitteita myöskin mukana, lähinnä nykyisen pienen matkatelkkarin näköinen väline, jolla he sitten kyselyjen edistyessä näyttivät erinäisiä kuvia. Ja aina jonkun asian tullessa esille, siitä näytettiin kuvia tällä, tällä pienellä laitteella. Ja Loppujen lopuksi kelattiin minun elämääni eteenpäin myöskin. Ja näin lyhyesti sanottuna ne tapahtumat, jotka minulle silloin kerrottiin, ovat tähän mennessä pitäneet hyvin paikkansa. Joskin tämän saadun tiedon viimeinen kuva on minun kannaltani vähän huonompi, koska siinä oli näytetty tapaturma, jonka uhriksi Overall, UFO sightings is a fascinating topic that continues to generate interest and debate. Some may dismiss these sightings and beliefs as mere fantasy or conspiracy theories. Others are convinced that there is something truly otherworldly at play.
Whatever the case may be, UFO sightings across the world is sure to remain a subject of fascination for years to come. But maybe you have had your own strange encounter. Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.